This is KOM News at 9 on Fox 14. I'm Anthony Saviello. High speed watercraft will catch the wake this weekend at Grand Lake, where the Wolf Creek Drag Boat Nationals will take place. Record breaking speeds and intricate engineering will be on display for the public. KOM intern Mitch Adams has the story. These things are as bad as heroin. Once you see them, that's it, you're hooked. <laughs> Competitive boat racers from all over the nation will test their watercraft in the Wolf Creek Drag Boat Nationals at Grand Lake. These mean machines will make more horsepower than a supercar, and Grand Lake is the place where world records are set. Brent Malone, the executive director of Convention and Tourism, explained why Grand Lake is the perfect place to hold this event. When, when there's a race like this, Wolf Creek Park is set up for fishing. But we've, we've seen this in the last six or seven years. This is set up perfect for drag racing. I mean, it's protected. The water's always good here. It's great, it's not deep. So if something does happen, something goes bad, we can get them, get them rescued quick. Contenders arrived from coast to coast, from California to South Carolina, ready to try their hand at victory racing other fully custom built boats. The MC of the event, Roger Monroe, has over 40 years of experience as a drag race announcer. The familial feelings that come with these competitions is enough to keep them going. Boat racing, it's a family. I've seen these guys, this pro outlaw, maybe another pro outlaw, going to the final, the one blow the motor, did not have a motor to race. These guys will give up their spare motors to their competitor to race them in the final and possibly beat them. You won't see that in cars. Although speed is king at this contest, the main goal is to have fun and show off just how much power one vessel can make. Reporting from Grove, Oklahoma, I'm Mitch Adams, KOAM News. To find more information about the Wolf Creek Drag Boat Nationals, you can visit our website. Of course, that's KOAMnewsnow.com.